Hello everyone, I am Amulya, Assistant Professor in Electrical and Electronics Department, Saivitya Institute of Technology. In today's section, we are conducting one experiment that is a lag lead compensating network. In the earlier session, we have already conducted the lag experiment, lag compensating network and the lead compensating network. So today we are doing the combination of lag lead compensating network. So before that, what actually the compensator is? Compensator, it is a device inserted into the system for the purpose of satisfying certain specification. So you can consider a filter. Filter is also one type of a compensating device that is being inserted in the rectifier circuit because the output of the rectifier, it is not a pure DC. It is a pulsating DC. In order to get a pure DC, we are using a capacitor as a filter. So the filter here, it is acting as a compensating network. So we have a different type of compensators are there, lag compensator and lead compensator. So lag compensator is basically when you apply sinusoidal input to the system, you will be produce, obtaining a sinusoidal output. But observe here, so this is your lag compensator. When you give sinusoidal input to the system, you will be obtaining a sinusoidal output. So this is the input V i of t, this is the output V naught of t. But the input and output, it will be having some lag. That is, the output will be lagging behind the input. So, having the phase as 5. So, this is what we call it as a lag compensating network. Similarly, the lead compensating network means when you apply sinusoidal input to the system, the sinusoidal output will be produced. But in case of a lead compensating network, the output will be leading. So, this is V0 of T and this is VI of T. T. So, having the phase as 5. So, the output will be leading but the input will be lagging in case of the lead compensating network. So, this is what we call it as lag and lead compensating network. So, lag compensating network, it is going to improve the steady state response of the system. So, lag is basically when, see this is the circuit diagram for the lag lead compensating network. So, here the resistance R2 is connected in series with the capacitor and it has been connected across output side. So these two circuit will be acting as a lag compensating network. The purpose of using the lag compensating network is to improve the steady state response of the system. So basically the lag compensating network it is acting as a low pass filter. Low pass filter is basically it allows only the lower frequency signal and eliminates the higher frequency signals here. So, observe here, this is the waveform for the lag compensating network. So, in the beginning, will be the system will be acting as a low pass filter. So, that will be getting only the lower frequencies. The higher frequency will be eliminated in the beginning. Next, coming to the lag com lead compensating network, when the resistance R1 is connected in parallel with the capacitor C1. So, this has been acting as a lead compensating network. So, lead compensating network, it is basic, uh, we can also call it as a high pass filter. High pass filter means it allows only the higher frequency signals and the lower frequency signal or the frequency can be eliminated. So, this whole signal we can call it as, it is lead compensating network. Only the higher frequency will be allowed, the lower frequency will be eliminated. So, this is the circuit diagram for lag lead compensating network. So, here will be having the input supply that we are getting from the signal generator that will be fed to the lead compensating network then on the output side we are connecting the lag network that is R2 connected in series with the capacitor C2. So this is a circuit diagram for a lag lead compensating network. So by using this lag and lead compensating network we can increase the transient response of the system and also the steady state response of the system both can be increased by using this network and this is the expected graph for a lag lead compensating network. So this is the graph for the phase plot and this is the uh, graph for gain plot. So and this is the transfer function for a lag lead compensating network. So this is the transfer function. So now we will see the experimental arrangement for the conduction of this experiment. So for this experiment with the apparatus required are the two resistors here we are taken one the r1 value that is a 10k i'll write the values here r1 required will be 10k r2 is 1 kilo ohm c1 and c2 both will be equal to 0 0.1 microfarad 
and the input supply from the signal generator we are giving is 2 voltage peak to peak so these are all the ratings of the resistors and capacitors in a lag lead compensating network so now look at the discrete connection so here the r1 that is a 10k it is connected in parallel with the capacitor c1 this is acting as a lead compensating network then that is connected in series with r2 1k and along with one capacitor that is 0.1 microfarad so this is acting as a lag compensating network so this is a lead and this is lag and here to the r1 we are connected the input supply from the signal generator and also the one more input supply from the cr so both the connections we are given on the r1 side only and now we are connected the output from another end of the signal generator it has been connected across r2 and r1 side then for the measurement of rms voltage we need to connect one multimeter across or in parallel with r2 and c2 so now I have connecting a voltmeter across r2 and c2 and this connection will be acting as a common ground point so now observe the circuit diagram r1 is connected in parallel with c1 and R2 is connected in series with C2. So across this terminal, we need to connect the CRO another terminal output connection. And across here also, we need to connect the voltmeter. And here, we need to connect the signal generator. That is, it is acting as an input. And also, we need to connect the CRO input. So this is our connection. So by using a signal generator, we have set a two voltage peak to peak. So observe here, there are four divisions are there, multiplied with a channel one voltage. So four division into 0 0.5 is two voltage peak to peak. So this is our input. Now by selecting the dual option, so we can able to see even the output also. So this is your uh, out input and this smaller waveform will be your output. So now the experiment is a lag lead compensating network. So how do you know that the system it is behaving as a lag or a lead means only with this waveform. So now observe the frequency. Initially we having a very low frequency that is. So here I have set the frequency as near to 100 hertz. So as I told you the larger waveform will be our. So at a lower frequency of 136 hertz, so observe this waveform, as I told you, the larger one is the input waveform and the smaller one will be the output waveform. So observe here, so input is more when compared to your output signal. So what does it indicate? So when the out input voltage is more when compared to the output voltage means the system will be behaving as a lag compensating network because the output voltage will be lagging behind the input voltage. So what does it indicate? At a lower frequency, it is acting as a lag compensating network. So now as I increase the frequency here, so both will be equal. That means there will be no phase difference between the input voltage and the output voltage. Both will be in phase. Again, if I further increase the frequency, observe here. So now you can observe here. So the output voltage will be starts acting as a lead network. That means the output will be more when compared to the input here. So the smaller waveform will be our output and the larger one will be the input. So now the system now it has been started acting as a lead compensating network. That is the output voltage will be more when compared to the input voltage. So the input will be lags behind the output voltage. So that is why this we call it as a lag lead compensating network. So at a lower frequency we'll get the system is behaving as a lag compensating network. And as the frequency starts increasing, the system is behaving as a lead compensating network. So now for taking up the readings, we can use go with the Lissages pattern. 
so this is our tabular column for taking up the readings so input voltage will be two voltage peak to peak that we have set using a signal generator and the rms voltage that we can find out by dividing v in peak to peak by 2 into root 2 so that is v rms value will be 0 0.707 then for gf calculation of the gain so this is the formula so now this is the tabular column so in this tabular column we can start taking up the reading from a minimum frequency starting from 50 also you can start 100 also you can start so now here i'm starting with above 100 that is 121 is the first frequency and then we need to calculate uh, take down the reading of the phase also this phase value we can note down with the help of lissages pattern so consider this is the lissages pattern means so for a lag compensating network we need to consider this will be this horizontal line will be the reference line so below the reference line it has been acting as a lag compensating network and above the reference line it is acting as a lead compensating network so we have a formula for the calculation of a phase that is phi will be equal to sine inverse of minimum by maximum or you can consider b by a so this is the formula for the calculation of phase so b is nothing but minimum suppose we are calculating the phase for a lead compensating means above the reference we have to see so this will be the b value and this will be the a value so minimum by maximum similarly if you are doing uh, taking the reading for lag compensating means below reference we have to see so this will be the minimum value and this will be the maximum value so it is understood that lag is nothing but it should be a negative value so we need to directly take the lag values as minus only so now coming to the reading so observe here in the signal generator i have set the frequency as 120 hertz and this is the lissages pattern what we are getting for 120 hertz so by using the lissages pattern so this will be the minimum value so you already know that at a lower frequency the system is behaving as a lag compensating network so that we can take the below reference value so this is the b value and this will be the a value so a value will be equal to 2 because the two divisions are there so a will be 2 and b will be 0 0.6 it is so by using the formula of sine inverse b by a we need to find what will be the phase value so i'll show it here so phase will be equal to sine inverse of b is 0 0.6 and a is so like this way we need to find so we'll get 17.4 degree so this is our face value and v naught so this v naught we need to measure with the multimeter so that we connected across the output set that is r2 and c2 so up so here the v naught value will be 0 0.5 so this is we need to take the reading for the first case next similarly increase the frequency in the range of 50 or 100 difference so I'll increase the frequency now to 200. So this is the second reading. So again use this lissages pattern. Find out the phase value and also note down what will be the voltage value. So likewise we need to repeat the readings by increasing of the frequency with a difference of 100 or a 50. And we need to note down the phase value and also the voltage value across the output side. So observe the lissages pattern here. As it keeps on increases the frequency, you can uh, observe the frequency. At certain time, there will be no phase difference between input and output voltage. So by that time, what will happen? So the phase will be equal to zero. It is because there is no phase difference between input voltage and the output voltage. So again, if I further increase the frequency, so the lissages pattern will be get tilted. That means observe here. So this is the phase becomes a zero, and now it is acting as a lag again if i increase the frequency the lissages pattern will be get tilted now it has been acting as a lead compensating network lead compensating means we need to take the above reading from the reference so this is your reference line so from above the reference we need to take up the lead values so that means this is the b value and this will be the a value so then we need to calculate what will be the phase here so here I have taken the readings starting from 120 Hz to 1.8 kHz. So observe that 
so initially at a lower frequency it is acting as a lag compensating network so that is why i have taken the phase value as a minus and at certain frequency the input and output voltage both will be in phase so that there will be no phase difference so that is why the phase will be equal to zero once the phase is zero then it is start acting as a lead compensating network so that is why the phase will be positive so like this way you need to take up the readings after that calculate what will be the v naught by v in values then divide the v naught values with respect to v in rms value that is 0.7 then calculate what will be the gain so that it completes the experiment and also after completing of the tabular column you need to draw the uh, graph for the gain plot and also for the phase plot so this is for the phase plot and this is for the gain plot by using semi log sheet thank you